Hi, I'm Trey Ratcliffe. I'm standing here under my cherry blossom trees. I always love these beautiful things. It reminds me of, of Japan. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you how I use Aurora HDR to create really beautiful images. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my cloudy and clean desktop. I cleaned my desktop just for you guys so I can show you my favorite features of Aurora HDR Pro. All right. So we're going to work on three images very quickly, right? This is just an amuse bouche, if you will. Uh, we're going to do these three images from London. Uh, we're also going to work on a single file, and then we're going to end with this picture from Venice. All right. So let me load up the sweet lady Aurora HDR Pro here. Now I don't even have to load these in because Aurora HDR Pro comes with sample images. So I'm just going to click Load Sample Images here. Okay. You can see the dark, medium, and the bright. All right. Then I'm going to say Create HDR. Whoa! But before I do that, let me show you the before picture. Okay. This is the before picture, all right? This is the middle exposure out of the three. Now let's jam them into Aurora and see what happens. All right, so I simply click Create HDR. And watch how fast this is, by the way. This is all real time. Loading images, HDR merging, tone mapping. This is where the magic happens. And boom, dun, 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 dun. And actually, it's probably practically done. Look at it, it looks amazing. Let's, let's make full screen here. I'll hit F. We're gonna make more adjustments, don't you worry, but um, let's look at it before and after once again. And this is, again, without clicking a preset, without moving a slider, nothing. Here's the before, the middle exposure. And here's the after. Well, let's not even call it the after because we're still going to work on it some more, all right? All right, here we are. Let me calm down a little bit. I'm pretty excited. I'm just going to take you through the tool very briefly here, all right? We have lots of other tutorials and things you can see if you want to do some in-depth dives, but it's just a little bit here. So check out all these presets. Uh, this is just the architecture category. You don't even have to move a single slider. You can just click around on these different presets until you find something that you like. There's all kinds of options. There's sort of extreme HDR, there's realistic HDR, whatever you want. There's lots of different categories of the presets. You can even get my own like trays presets if you get the pro version. Now over here on the right side are all your various tools and we have heaps of them as they say down here in New Zealand, heaps and heaps and heaps of tools. All right, and you'll kind of see me use some of these tools in these uh, three quick demos I'm gonna do, all right? Let me jump down here to my favorite area, the uh, structure area. This is really where you uh, get all the HDR bang for your buck, right? So you can go really extreme with your HDR look, right? Slide that way over to the right, or you can take it easy and take it way over to the left, or somewhere in between, you know, choose your own HDR adventure. If you really want to amp it up, you can increase the amount and increase the boost. And then, you know, then you can be like super HDR on drugs. I know some people are into that. That's cool. That's cool. I don't judge. Uh, whatever you want to do is awesome. So actually, usually I increase the amount a little bit and then also the softness a little bit. That seems to take a little bit of the hard edge off. There's also HDR detail, which is great if you want to give it that super detailed, um, kind of almost grungy kind of look sometimes. And you can soften that up a little bit, a little soft grunge. Uh, this is all the tone stuff, right? This is the kind of thing that normally you use Lightroom for. And another reason you don't need Lightroom, you can just, just use this tool. Um, increase the highlights, mid-tones, shadows, whatever you might want to do, increase the contrast. We have this clever thing here called Smart Tone, which is sort of a clever combination of all of them, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go down and look at HDR denoise, because this thing is epic. All right, let me zoom into 200% here to see what's happening with the noise. All right, let's take it up here into the sky where we'll be able to see even more noise. You see all these little bits and pieces up here? That's called noise, so let's get rid of it. So we'll increase the amount of the denoise here and then we'll smooth it out a little bit. And look, it's gone. You can kind of look at the before and after. Isn't that fast? It's unbelievable. I think like this is the fastest denoise pro program I've ever seen. All right, here's how you give it a little bit of glow, all right? Go down here to image radiance and increase the amount. I'll go ahead and increase it quite a bit and, and the smoothness. You look at the before and after, see how I get that kind of fairy tale glow. I love it. You can also combine that, by the way, with this other glow down here. This one is especially effective at night. This makes those street lights glow and car lights glow and this sort of thing. Let me decrease that just a little bit. Oh, overdid it there, Ratcliffe. Take it easy. Easy there, cowboy. All these other controls are amazing. You can do everything you want to. You can adjust the color, the details. Top and bottom lighting, we'll do that in the next demo. There are tone curves. Um, we can decrease some of the colors, like maybe this is a little blue, you might say. So we can just decrease the saturation there of the blue, take that, take that off a little bit. Uh, we have vignetting, everything. 
All right, so let's look at uh, one more before and after. Let's go look at the before. So here's London straight out of the camera before Aurora. And here's London after it's been auroraized, which is not an official verb, by the way. Oh, look at this church. This is the... Every time I look at this photo, I see something new. Look at that. Holy moly. All right, let's go to the next photo. Rats, I forgot to show you that it has layers too. You don't even need Photoshop. You can do things in multiple layers. We'll save that for the third photo, the Venice photo. All right, now let's work on a single photo. Okay, moving right along. Let's bring this single photo right here. And this is just to kind of prove that you don't have to have brackets and take them in for this to be a very effective program. So you can go rework a lot of your older photos and you know bring them a new life, if you will. So I used one of my presets on here. You can kind of see how I moved some of these things around. And obviously you can still get this HDR look from a single photo, which is, which is pretty radical. Just a little bit of glow on there. All right, let me stop down for a minute to talk about this really important part that I wanted inside Aurora HDR Pro. And it's this area called top and bottom lighting because many times you want maybe a different kind of HDR on top than you do on the bottom or vice versa, you want more or less. So this allows you to individually adjust these areas. You can shift the orientation, move it up and down to see where that cross line is. You can adjust the blend area. It's extremely versatile. Okay, now let's go have some fun in Venice. All right, let's go pull in these Venice photos so that I can show you how layering works, all right? So I'm just gonna drag them down here. You can drag them in from Lightroom. There's Lightroom plugins, there's all kinds of stuff, but I'm just bringing it from the desktop to keep it simple. This was a handheld shot, and obviously this guy is boating around on his gondola, so I'm gonna turn on alignment and ghost reduction. Create HDR. All right, fast forward here. I've already made a few adjustments. You can see the before and after, before and after. I wanna show you how to do a layer, all right? So I'm gonna hit up here plus by the layers, and we're gonna call this one a glowy glow, because I wanna make it seem like there's a very warm light coming from the end of the canal, all right? So we're gonna amp it up here. Really gonna get this image radiance way up here. The smoothness and maybe a little bit of brightness. Oh, no, maybe not. Uh, let's increase the warmth a little bit so it's a warm light coming from down there, all right? Really glow it up. Now, as you can see, it has affected the entire image, but I've got the brush selected now up there, and now I can make it a little smaller, and I'm just gonna brush in right there, right down that corridor. Okay, the brush is by default at 50%, but you can, you can adjust it however you want to, very powerful. I'm also gonna glow in the water here a little bit. All right, so you can see, um, that's sort of my mask right there, but you can see like the before, after, before, after. All right, let's do one more layer to add a ton of details to the buildings, okay? So I'm gonna do plus here, another layer, I'll call this one detail. Okay, and let's go down to the structure here, and I'll do a little bit more HDR look, but I'm gonna go serious on the detail, all right? Because I really wanna get those buildings nice and textury, all right? And then once again, I'm gonna use the brush and I'm just gonna paint on the buildings, okay? Just where I want that really nice texture right up in here. Very nice, all right? So let's, let's zoom in and look at the texture before and after. Before and after, before and after. All right, totally radical. All right, so there you have it, everybody. I just made three pretty cool photos in just a few minutes. Uh, it's really easy, anybody can do this, and kind of the secret thing is that it's totally fun. All right, so go grab it, I hope you love it. Um, if I could ask you for one favor, whenever you create photos and share them on Instagram or Facebook or Google or wherever, you do a little hashtag action and do hashtag Aurora HDR. You know, everyone uses hashtags nowadays, it's 2000 something, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not even wearing a watch. Well, thanks again for watching. There's a few options here for you. Come get the full brand new tutorial over an hour long or get the software or get both.